Hi, my name is Jay Balakrishna. In this video, you are going to learn about uh, description. How to describe a person or a thing by using a word called is. Look at these sentences. He is happy. She is sad. Mary is tall. The book is good. It is hot. How did we make the sentences? Take a subject. Take verb. Hot, good, tall, sad, happy. These are some words in English language. Grammar calls them adjectives. You can simply call them descriptive words because their function is to describe. And what is there to describe in this world? Living thing and a non-living thing. So when any word describes a living or a non-living thing, it is called adjective. There are thousands and thousands of adjectives in English language. They will help you in making short, small, simple and easy to understand sentences like this. How have we made the sentences? We have taken a subject, we have taken is and we have added adjectives. Now is, it is called an auxiliary verb, you can call it a main verb or you can call it a technical word. This goes only with four people, he, she, it, any singular name like John. Except these four people, nobody can use is. It goes only with he, she, it or any singular name. And it is used for present tense. You can't use it to talk about past tense or future tense or any other tense. It is used only for present tense. This is grammar. Just remember two points. Is is used by he, she, it and John, any singular name. And it is used only for present tense. Then keep on adding in this zone adjectives. He is happy. He is sad. He is tall. He is good. It is hot. It is cold. She is decent. She is dignified. She is disciplined. She is sensitive. She is angry. She is emotional. She is beautiful. She is pretty. He is handsome. He is experienced. He is inexperienced. He is intelligent, he is ignorant. In this way, keep on collecting adjectives that can be used for human beings like he, she, it and John or non-living things. The movie is good, the movie is bad, the movie is interesting, the movie is boring, food is tasty, food is stale, food is fresh, food is oily, food is spicy. In this way, collect adjectives to describe living and non-living singular things and make sentences. After you become good at making large number of sentences, try to practice the variations at second stage. Do not try to doing, uh, do too many things at a time. You will be confused. Do step by step in a systematic way. Step one, make sentences. Step two, practice variations. He is happy. Just add not here, it becomes negative. He is not happy. Now I need question form. Remove this person and keep it here. Is he happy? Isn't he happy? She is sad. She is not sad. Is she sad? Isn't she sad? Mary is tall. Mary is not tall. Is Mary tall? Isn't Mary tall? The book is good. The book is not good. Is the book good? Isn't the book good? It is hot. It is not hot. Is it hot? Isn't it hot? She is simple. She is not simple. Is she simple? Isn't she simple? He is angry. He is not angry. Is he angry? Isn't he angry? The movie is good. The movie is not good. Is the movie good? Isn't the movie good? Food is tasty. Food is not tasty. Is food tasty? Isn't food tasty? In this way you practice the variations. Now, your progress does not depend on this part. This is common for everyone. Every person uses ease only for 
he, she, it and singular name. You are not going to prove your efficiency here. Your efficiency, your success, your command, your fluency, etc., etc., they all depend on the number of adjectives you have. Collect more adjectives, make more sentences. It all depends on the number of adjectives you collect every day as a part of learning English language. Thanks for watching this video. This is Jay Balakrishna.